Hi there, my name is Dustin Beebe. Um, I've been here with Titan Machinery for about 15 years now. I'm a combine specialist here, and today we are going to go through a mid-range combine and talk about the fundamentals. Today in this 2388, we have an AFS universal display. Um, most of the guys have been updating to the Pro 600 and the Pro 700 uh, just for the better features that they offer. Um, you get a color display, you have different options, you can run cameras um, and be able to plug into the Pro 700 up within cameras. Um, so you, you can watch grain tank, unloading auger, uh, grain cart, stuff like that. Um, the setup here on this universal display, um, you know, a big thing a guy should touch on is, is these memory cards here should be cleared off every year. Bring them into your dealership um, and clear them off at the beginning of every year. Uh, saves a lot of uh, unnecessary downtime because if these get filled up too much, they will actually bog the machine or the display down and can cause issues. Um, so I would recommend that even with the Pro 600 and the Pro 700 to bring the uh, memory cards in and have them cleared, formatted at the beginning of every year. Um, with that, uh, we will jump into, um, if we were to have to do a yield monitor or a, a yield calibration on this monitor here, we would go into calibration mode, which will take us into our calibration menu. We need to select sensor, so we know which one we're after. Up top here it shows us grain sensor, which is what we are after here to uh, calibrate. Your sensor cal number should match the sensor cal number on top of your clean grain elevator where your yield monitor is. Once that is all in there and correct, you would go to crop. As long as farm field and load is filled in, once you combine a grain tank load full, unload it into your grain cart or semi-trailer, uh, whatever it may be, say you have a grain cart that has a scale on it um, and you can get a number right away. We would go in here to this actual. First off, we would go to cal load and select yes. And then we'd go into actual and put in the actual weight that we unloaded into that grain cart. We recommend doing that uh, three to five times uh, to make sure that we get the best accuracy that we can get out of that yield monitor.